everyone. Welcome back to Super Jerry 27's Nerd Cave. I am here with a better late than never review of Square Enix's Final Fantasy 16, the PlayStation 5 exclusive that seems to be very polarizing on the internet. I've not watched anyone else's review because I don't want to steal from it, but I've seen some people be like, this this game was just this just the title, this game was lifeless, this game was disappointing, and such and such and such. I'm a huge fan of Final Fantasy, even though I suck at them. Um, I like the concept. I like the different worlds they create. I've got all the PS5 uh, copies. God, this, this backwards thing. It's inverted controls. I suck at inverted controls. You know, all of them. And to be honest, the only Final Fantasy game that I've ever beaten is uh, the Final Fantasy VII Remake. I bought the one on the PS5 so that I can play Interlude, and I haven't done that yet because the this part two of the remake isn't, I don't even think, close to being done. So I'll take my time with it. I like to do that. I am enjoying Final Fantasy 16, but it's because it's removed all the stuff that I have been horrifically bad at. There's no job system. Uh, it's not turn-based combat. Uh, just a whole bunch of things that I was bad at. like, And I, I like the concept of them. I'm still trying to get through Final Fantasy 12. Uh, the one on the PS2. We play it. Yeah. I think it's 12. I don't know. I have to go find it. All my copies of it anyway. Um, so I really... I am enjoying this game. I'm not going to lie. I'm playing it on story mode because I suck and I want to see the game. Like, it's a gorgeous game. Voice acting is great. The The summons are amazing. The beasts are amazing. The world can get bland at time, but that's because of a story element. The blight is taking over uh, the world, which is kind of sad. Um, so I'm playing it on... Yeah, I'm playing on easy because I want to see the story. I, I would not enjoy it if I couldn't play it on easy. I suck at these games, so if they give me an easy option, I'm going to put it on easy. I struggled with Final Fantasy 13 that everybody hates. I got decently far in that. And then I'm with the dude with the afro and the bird in his hair and the little girl fighting two tank things in the forest. Can't beat him. So I'm stuck on that game. And I know everybody hated that version of the game or that, that game, like hated it. And I see why it's linear. This one is kind of linear, but not um, Final Fantasy 15. I kind of liked, but I didn't like the combat, but I like the concept. Um, and then the original seven, I never get very far. Original eight, not very far. Original, I've got copious copies too. I think that's the right word. I've got many copies of each game. I've got them downloaded onto my PS4, downloaded onto my Switch. I've got PS2 physical copies. I'm going to get the 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 Switch physical copies from PlayAsia when I get a little more funds. I'm going to get the the Legacy Edition of all the, 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 the Nintendo ones off Play Asia as well, since I missed it on Square Enix. But anyways, back to this game. You play as Clive, who was once a royal, and you get a time jump, and you become a a bearer. Jesus Christ. You got the bearer mark on your face, and that means you're basically everybody's bitch. People don't like bearers. It's bearers. It's a very class system uh, oriented world. Like People without the bear mark or who are not bears are amazing, and the people who are bears are scum, but they can they can draw ether out of the world and create magic and heal you and stuff. But uh, Clive is the brother to... I can't remember his name. A ginger. And uh, the ginger is the one with the phoenix power, but Clive also has the power of Ifrit, so there were two dueling fire creatures, like head honchos, and you meet a bunch in the world that's kind of convenient. You meet Sid, who is one, and he's not blonde, and he's not the uh, mechanic that he usually is, or in 15, a big-breasted, good-looking girl. Um, your love interest is one. I mean, it's like everybody's one. Uh, there's. I'm going to do a little spoiler here, so stop watching if you haven't played the game. I do suggest picking it up. It's still a good game, and if you're good at Final Fantasy, play it on normal mode. I want to see the game. I want to see the gorgeousness. I want to enjoy my 69.99, which is unfortunate, 
But I do that pay in for thing on PayPal, so it's not as much of a glut. It's 20 bucks every two weeks. I can live with that. But uh, I am enjoying it. But there is a time jump. I hate time jumps. Um, big event happens that I'm not going to say. Jump five years into the future, and the world is different. And, it, and it's almost like a different game. Kind of. You're still doing stuff to progress, to bitch slap your mother. That's who the, the main enemy is. You got to go bitch slap your mom because she killed your father. She thought that you had made you kill her bro little brother. Like it's It's a whole mess. It's like... You know, the real housewife shit, right? But I'm enjoying it. Hardcore Final Fantasy fans who love the turn base, who love the job system, who love, uh, you know, the party mechanics probably aren't going to like this. And that's kind of what I'm seeing on the internet. I will now, now that this is filmed, I'm going to go watch their reviews, which are probably much better than mine because they put stuff up in the corner and they can talk off the screen. Can't do that yet because I can't really capture any footage of me playing because I only have two hands. It's hard to hold a PlayStation controller and film while holding steady. So my apologies for that. Um, I do like the game. Sorry, the voice acting is superb. I don't know if I mentioned that because I like to ramble. But um, partial nudity, I haven't gotten to that yet. Sorry. <laughs> There's nudity. Okay, uh, probably just someone's ass. Probably a dude's ass too. Um, yes, I would pick this up. It is a good game. It's not a great game. It's not Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy uh, eight, you know, It's not the PlayStation PlayStation One ones, um, but it's I don't know. I'm enjoying it more than fifteen because it's a little more linear. Fifteen, I don't know what the fuck I was doing. I'm I'm really bad at open world. Here you go, fucking do shit games. That's just why I have a problem with Final Fantasy games and why I've had a problem with the newest Zelda. But I think I take care of that problem. Um, but yes, let me know what you think. Have you played it? How far are you? Please don't spoil it. Uh, I've, I'm have i about 24 hours, 25 hours into the game. It says I'm at 47, 48, 49%. So I guess I'm only halfway through. But uh, I am enjoying it. I'm sorry that I'm not a purist. Um, but I like it. And I'm going to keep playing it. And I suggest that you play it. Maybe if you're a purist, get it when it's on sale. Because I'm sure it'll be coming on sale here pretty soon. But maybe not. I don't know. What do I know? I'm just a, a gamer in. Well, I'll make, it's kind. Of, no, it's not a basement, but yeah, it can look like a basement. But uh, let me know what you think about it in the comments. Did you pick it up day one? I picked it up day one. Um, do you think this is the end of Final Fantasy? Some people are saying it is. I don't because it is a money maker. But Square Enix could just remake Parasite Eve and and give me the game that I've always wanted again because I love Parasite. Eve. All right. See you soon in another video.